Falou.
guys, give me a second. I'll be right on. Okay. We're waiting for others still. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's just give them uh, five minutes. Shredding, shredding. Hello. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? How was your week? Ah, uh, so cold. Very cold. How's your dad doing? <laughs> your, your dad's still out of the hospital or still there? He's, uh, there's a technical problem. Not technical, I mean like uh, the wound from the jahit yeah. part, the mm-hmm. swing part, is kind of, uh, his skin kind of rip off. So it's, the wound is open. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, still a long way to go, man. You can see. The wounded part. Uh, the tube the tube that he's connected to his the uh, what do you call it the i think called ah uh, dialysis yeah dialysis for dialysis okay, okay. the dialysis tube is kind of open so uh, cover for that it's cool understood man no worries let me fix some stuff first oh no what happened to my window captures oh god Yeah, a couple of people. Just give me a sec. Get, give them a few minutes. Oh, so warm. I should warm this. Yeah, raining. A few days here and there. Mm. So, for me, it's quite warm, lah, regardless. Sixteen. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. Oof. Okay. Uh, cold shower. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow, what the fuck? How's that possible, man? <laughs> Are you sure you're in Malaysia still? <laughs> okay, cola. Hey. Hold on. Let me get my stream kit up. Oh no, my page all messed up. <laughs> Hold on, I, I switched from OBS to <coughs> Streamlabs, so all my things suddenly switch. Give me a second. Yeah, let me fix this. Oh no! Okay, got that, got that, got that. Okay, I've got to move this a little bit. And then show speaking avatars only. Okay. Uh, what else do I need to fix? Mm-hmm. Windows capture. Okay. What's this? Oh yeah, I need to got the chat <coughs> box as well. Saha Greens. Yeah. Uh, baby Saha Green. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saha Green Swarm. Hashling Swarm. Oh, uh, basic. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's 
sa Hagwin Priestess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good morning, man. <laughs> good evening for us. Properties. Okay, done. Okay, uh, still working now. Group is there. Is everyone here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I should be right back. Yeah, um, we are actually waiting for. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, it's no. No, no, everyone's here already. We can't start without you, Lena. <laughs> yeah, we can't start without you. Uh, all right, I'm going to. Since it's been two weeks, I'm gonna roll the d6. Oh, I knew... Okay, okay. at least it's not Heather. <laughs> Kasava, tell us what happened last session, if as much as you can remember. And we're going to start the game tonight. Let's go. Mm-hmm. To say the least. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes, a full monster nest <laughs> that you guys had to clear out. But in the end, you persevered. <laughs> You've opened a, uh, no wait, the boxes you haven't yet, yeah, the empty ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, yes. I believe you all managed to make it back to the beach Leviathan. It is, however, still in the middle of the day uh, as you guys were still going about doing your things. So, let us bring us back <coughs> to Neverwinter Nights as you guys figure out the next step of your plan. And to the beach Leviathan we go! Oh no, what happened to my window? Why is it gone? Uh oh, what's going on? I'm not capturing anything. My screen is white. Oh, what's going on? All right, so you guys are back here in your rooms all discussing plans as to what you'd like to do. I believe you have your boxes that you have yet to open, so you can choose to do that right now. That's true. I don't 
what's happening, but my screen. All right, so what would you like to do with those boxes, people? Oh, you know what, I'm just gonna delete this. Okay. Yeah, you guys are in, in your room, technically. <coughs> okay, you could do that. Roll me an investigation check. Yeah, sure. Roll me an investigation check, please. What's going on, but I'm not able to capture. You know what? Yeah, my roll twenty is messing with my OBS. Like I can't capture anything for a sec. Like something's weird. into row 20 but that's not really a big issue because I, I we don't use the row 20 character sheets too much anyway so you can just still roll from TND beyond i've already turned on the optional feats uh for you guys so when you level up you should look at there's a, there's like three tabs so your uh your class features then it's supposed to be spells if you have spells so in between there should be another tab that says optional class features so it should be turned on for most of you i believe It looks like a chest, like any other chest. It is locked. Uh, you don't see any traps on it. Uh, you don't notice anything, anything odd about it. In fact, it's just a just a random metal chest with a metal lock. <laughs> Would you like to take a long rest before you open the chest? As you guys start running out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pretty much, you could just leave your chest inside your room here and technically Oh, I mean, it's up to you. Yes. Yep, that is the one that uh, uh, Snow is looking at right now. Looks like a normal chest. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, the three chests. Okay, just one of those three chests? Did you take all? Th I thought you took all three. Okay, uh, I, I mean, with, with, with six of you guys, like three chests. Oh, it's. Yeah. Okay, it's fine actually, because uh, each chest roughly weighs about 30. Uh, maybe the biggest one weighs about 45 pounds. So technically, all three, you would be able to carry all three back. So I'll say you have your three chests from that room. Uh, you have the magical chest from the ship hold. Uh, is there another chest that you guys got? I think that's about it. Oh, the townhouse chest. Yeah, the townhouse chest. So you have technically five chests to open right now. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I... Yeah, man. Okay, which one would you like to start with? Which one would you like to start with? <laughs> okay, the tiny chest. This is the town hall one. Okay. <laughs> Lols. All right, what do you get? Okay. Uh, okay, with guidance, are you taking guidance as well? 
Hey, guess what? It's just enough to open the chest. <laughs> As you look inside, uh, this is... Give me a second. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Can you, can you hear me? Uh, internet's... Yeah, internet's a bit screwy. Um, this is a chest with... Uh, I believe there's like numerous feet carved underneath it. Like as if like it was a caterpillar box. So, opening up this box inside... There is nothing inside this tiny chest. It is just a tiny chest. Completely empty. Success. Uh, it, but it can be locked and closed uh, without the key right now. So technically, uh, you just need your teeth tools to unlock it and lock it back again. <laughs> there is nothing inside the chest. It is a small box, completely empty. The cavity inside is small enough to probably fit like uh, a makeup a vestigial of some sort, like a, like just a, a small like container, uh, about like maybe three three inches by four inches, uh, and there's nothing inside the chest. <clears throat> mm. Um. Well, I'll. Mm. Mm. Sure. Just make me a, just a straight intelligence check. Yeah, just a straight intelligence check. <clears throat> Not investigation, just intelligence. Sorry, can you hear me? Oh, sorry, I think the internet cut out again. Uh, yeah, just make me a straight intelligence check. Really? Oh no. Hello, hello, hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, alright. Uh, what, what did the... Uh, what's the last thing I said? Um, that... What was I talking about again? This shit. Okay. Yeah, it is just a regular chest. Uh, just make an intelligence check on that. Uh, if you want to appraise it. Just a straight up intelligence check. Yeah. You know what? Uh, Discord's acting a bit funny. I'm going to reconnect it and just see whether it's better. Just give me a second. Yeah, I'll be right back. I, I, I don't think it's my internet. I'm not sure. Let me just see whether there's anything I can do about it. Hmm. It could be I'm just running a lot of stuff in the background. <coughs> okay. Uh, regardless, there is so far... Hello? Serious? Testing, testing... Test. Is it really? Is it really bad? Double. Testing, testing. Testing. Okay, maybe I'll just set up my mic a bit. Yeah, maybe I just... I, I know my mic's a little bit. Mm, okay. Okay, uh, so... With that straight intelligence check. 17. Um, this chest would roughly... Mm, about five gold pieces. Yeah. No, no, it's not. Yeah, the one in the ship's hole was magical. If you have no idea what it is, uh, maybe the chest might have some worth. <laughs> itself. But looking at the chest and the aesthetics, it just seems to be a... Okay, sure. Go ahead. Okay, with guidance. Okay, with a 13. Uh, mm, this chest... Oh, give me a second. Test, 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 test. Oh, it's bad, man, connection. Yeah, my connection's bad. I can, I can hear it go off. 
a bit weird. Okay, regardless, <coughs> uh, the chest with that investigation, it does not look trapped. Um, yeah, it does not look trapped. Okay, go ahead. All right. River 16. 19. As you try to pick the lock, it does not open. <clears throat> as, as you fiddle around the lock, you even though you're like pressing against the, the insides of the lock's mechanism, you can actually you, you actually know like this is the thing that you need to release to like open it. As you press into it, it does not move. It does not move. It seems like you you would have actually opened it, but something is, you're not sure, maybe something magical is actually holding the bolt back. So, yeah. You might need something magical to unlock this. Or you could try to smash the chest open physically. <laughs> mm I thought she charged you like five gold pieces, right? <laughs> or if you find somebody with some magic ability, you could ask them to help you open the chest as well. Okay, so two chests out of the way. Sorry? No, currently not. The box is just a very simple oak box with what seems to be a bronze lock and a latch altogether. Uh, there is like leather filigree along the side of the box. But other than that, it just looks like a very simple box. Or chest, yeah. So you've got one townhouse chest and three of the... Okay, so let's do the townhouse chest first. Definitely not trapped. Hey, easily enough, you open up the townhouse chest, and as it opens, So, before I continue, let me quickly ask, uh, who's in the room right now? Hey, Angel ran out. Bogra standing by the open door. <laughs> in that case, as you see Snow open up the box... Okay, wait. So, firstly, as Snow opens up the box, Snow, you hear a slight... As this white like mist starts flowing out of the box, I like everyone to please uh, in the room. So that's only not Angel. Everyone else, please make me a con save. A con save. Yeah, <clears throat> Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, 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 okay. So only Heather and Kasava fails. <laughs> only Heather and Kasava fails. Everybody else will take half this damage. As you see, 
this mist like come out and you're breathing in, immediately it starts to choke you. And uh, Heather and Kusaba, you will take 9 points of poison damage. Everyone else, you will take 4 points of poison damage. <laughs> Most poisons are anti-human. <laughs> okay, so, so so yeah, so no what happens what happens is yeah, yeah, as you open it, that that mist and powder just blows outwards. Yeah, and Neko goes unconscious. You guys like coughing. <coughs> and so you see this white like white mist start to flow out and it dissipates immediately. <laughs> One point of healing as you slap Neko awake. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you see Snow's face is just full of this white powder as well. So, <laughs> But other than that, as the powder kind of like dissipates in the air, you see inside the box what looks like... Give me a second. Another white powder. Okay. Um, since you opened this, no, roll me a D100. Yes. 22. Alright. So inside, you see a tiny object underneath the mist. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Oh my god, this connection is bad. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. It thinks my internet. Um, okay. Yeah, but it doesn't it, it wasn't this bad like uh like last week. I'm not sure whether it's my internet or what. Or it could be Streamlabs. It could be Streamlabs fucking with me. I I might I I fuck it later. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm not using OBS anymore. I'm using Streamlabs because they have like some other functions. Okay. You see yeah, you see inside the box what looks like a tiny object looking like a feather of sorts. Uh, as you lift it up, it is not a feather. It's more like a shape of a feather. Uh, it seems to be a token uh, made out of... Hold on, let me just double check this. Mm, okay. Uh, right, so it looks like a feather. Yeah, it looks like a whitish feather, the metal. Yeah, it is a metal token of some sort. As you pick it up, it's like quite light. <clears throat> it sounds better, <laughs> Lost. Uh, yeah, it basically just looks like a metal token of some sort, about like the size of your palm, um, in the shape of a bird's feather. <clears throat> Uh, you can examine it all you want. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, shit. I'm thinking maybe I should just end my stream. Ah, never mind. Okay, so... Examining it all you want, it still just looks like a tiny feather. There isn't any inscriptions in the box. There isn't any instructions or anything on thing. But the feather token looks like... Um, definitely unique. It looks unique. 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 Oh my god. Mm. Without any magical means, um, just regularly looking at it, it just looks like a metal feather token. Mm. Sure, make me a straight intelligence check. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So, with your knowledge, like reading through books and the kind of arcane things you've gone through, uh, you've heard of metal tokens like this before. Uh, they usually might have some magical properties, uh, but there are a wide variety of these type of tokens, so you have no idea what this token particularly does without some magical means. Okay, sure. Uh, that's the townhouse chest done. Yep, yep, go ahead. Okay, so if you have magical components required to cast spells, if they have a cost, yes, you will need them. If not, then uh, unless the spell says you require the item, uh, you can just use like spell, com uh, spell, just a spell component bag or an arcane focus. But if it requires a specific like 500 GP diamond or something like that, then yes, you require it. And it will tell you whether it's used up or not. A component bag will have all those components. Yeah. Yeah. So if it doesn't have a cost, you can just grab it from like uh, arcane, uh, arcane focus, or just a component pouch will have it as well. Okay. So next, <laughs> you hear. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> yes, those three are the chests. The... No, 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 the three chests. The three chests that uh, Mogra found in the zombie area. Oh yeah, yeah, you open one of this. Oh, okay, so you open up the rest already. Yep, okay, done. Mm, potion, transparent liquid. Yep, okay, that's all the loot from the boxes. Done. It is still early morning. Uh, you guys got back here around like breakfast time. Madam Privetti. So you just took a long rest about uh, 10 hours ago. So you, uh, I mean, you could hang out and do whatever you want today, but you can't take a long rest at the moment. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Just